Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see apply sensitivity labels to Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 groups and SharePoint sites in Microsoft Purview. Well, once we have created sensitivity labels and configured label policies, we can start using them in the organization. So in starting this video, I am trying to showcase so that you guys can learn how to manage sensitivity labels. You will also learn to apply sensitivity labels to emails and files. Now, after sensitivity labels are implemented and your organization has been using them for some time, you should evaluate their effectiveness and perhaps fine tune label policies. Using label analytics, you can identify which sensitivity labels trigger too many false positives. And our goal would be to make sure that you understand how to apply sensitivity labels to Microsoft Teams, 365, SharePoint, monitor label usage using label analytics, configure on-premise labeling, manage protection settings, apply protections and restrictions to emails and files. All right. So as you all know, we can apply sensitivity labels to Microsoft 365 groups and SharePoint sites. This enables lifecycle management of content within different types of containers. Now we have an option for applying a sensitivity label to groups and SharePoint sites. There are many ways to apply a label to a group or a SharePoint sites. You can uh, create a wizard for a group or SharePoint site, you SharePoint admin center for existing ones, Microsoft Teams admin center, Azure portal and PowerShell. Now you can apply labels to SharePoint online and Microsoft 365 groups through SharePoint admin center as well. So if I go to the portal of admin.microsoft.com and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged into admin.microsoft.com. Now select show all or and then you click on mm -hmm. SharePoint. Where is SharePoint? Let me look at that. Okay, here it is. Click on SharePoint. It will take you to that portal. If you want to do it now here you go to sites click on active sites if there would be any in your environment those will list here okay I have these in my tenant test tenant so you select the checkmark left of an existing site in, in which you want to apply a published sensitivity label to. So for example, I do this. Then you go to policies. For the selected site, you go to policies. See. It is none. Now, when you apply a policy here, all right, the reason uh, my sensitivity label is none because, see, through auto labeling, it, I was not able to apply this rule because I was getting this. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to log in again. Refresh the session. Give me one second. So for auto labeling, I was getting this error. If I, okay, if I open up a duplicate window, I'll open up a duplicate tab and I go to my existing label, right? I believe when I was creating a label and a policy, I did not select that it should apply to the SharePoint site as well. That is where I'm getting sensitivity label as none. So if I go to information protection, label policies, one of my 
existing policies, document C, right? So if I edit it, no, it is. It was one user default label emails attachment. Let me check it. Let me cancel it. Let me check it in my labels, files and emails. So if I edit the label. SharePoint sites. Configure privacy access control and other settings to be protected label teams. I need to complete these steps, which are because this feature uses Microsoft Entra functionality, follow the instructions from the Microsoft Entra documentation to enable sensitivity label support. Okay. Oh, I need to do it via PowerShell. Enable these labels. Okay. Sensitivity labels apply to groups across services like this. To configure this feature, there must be at least one active Microsoft Entra ITP P1 license in your Microsoft Entra organization. So I should have this and then I will enable sensitivity label support in PowerShell. You must first enable the feature. I need two feature. First of all, I need this. And this is because my test tenant and I don't have this license. But if you have this license and then you can follow the steps mentioned in this article, Microsoft article to accomplish the this setting where you can apply the sensitivity label to your SharePoint sites. Okay, so I hope this will give you a clear walkthrough of uh, how to enable this. If you still have any questions, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.